A chemical is a substance that is composed of matter and which has a specific set of properties. Chemicals are used in a wide range of applications, including in manufacturing, agriculture, medicine, and everyday household products. There are many different types of chemicals, and they can be classified in various ways, such as by their physical and chemical properties, their uses, or their sources. Some examples of different types of chemicals include number one, inorganic chemicals. These are chemicals that don't contain carbon hydro bonds and are not derived from living organisms. Examples include salt, metals, and acids. Number two, organic chemicals. These are chemicals that contain carbon and hydrogen items and are often derived from living organisms. Examples include hydrocarbons, alcohols, and fats. Number three, polymers. These are large molecules made up of repeating units called monomers. Examples include plastics, rubber, and fibers. Number four, natural chemicals. These are chemicals that are found in nature, such as plant extracts and minerals. Number five, synthetic chemicals. These are chemicals that are made by humans, either through chemical reactions are by modifying natural chemicals. Dear friends and fellows, it is difficult to estimate the exact number of chemicals that are in use today, as new chemicals are constantly being developed and old ones are phased out. However, it is estimated that there are millions of different chemicals in use around the globe. Today, we are discussing about chemicals safety. What are chemicals? How many types of chemicals? How chemicals affect human body and health? And how to control these chemicals to prevent workers from harm, injuries, diseases, or health effects? So, let's dive. First of all, we'll see how the chemicals affect do you know chemicals can have a range of effects on human health depending on the specific chemical, the amount and duration of exposure, and the individual's age, sex, and overall health status. Some chemicals can be toxic and cause adverse health effects at high doses, while others may be beneficial at lower doses but can be harmful if overexposed. It is also important to consider the potential for chemical interactions with other substances that an individual may be exposed to. In this training session, I'll highlight 20 most common effects or diseases caused by chemicals in the workplaces. As you know, there are many chemicals that can cause health effects in a workplace. Number one, skin irritation or dermatitis. Number two, respiratory problems such as asthma, a chemical pneumonitis. Number three, eye irritation or damage. Number four, headaches and dizziness. Number five, nausea and vomiting number six cancer number seven reproductive problems such as fertility problems or birth defects number seven liver damage number eight kidney damage number nine neurological problems such as tremors seizures or altered mental status number ten blood disorders such as anemia or leukemia. Number 11, cardiovascular problems such as high blood pressure, 
or heart attack. Number 12, allergic reactions. Number 13, hormonal imbalances. Number 14, acidosis, buildup of acid in the body. Number 16, metal fume fever, temporary illness caused by inhaling certain metal fumes. Number 17, heat stroke or heat exhaustion. Number 18, hypothermia, low body temperature. Number 19, frostbite. And number 20, physical injuries from accidents or falls related to chemical exposure. Dear friends and fellows, you can easily understand the drastic and damaging effects those are caused by chemicals. And in our life, we cannot live a single day without the use of chemical. Now the question is, how to control the impacts or effects of chemicals on our body, health, and mind. It is important for workers to be aware of the potential health effects of the chemicals they may be exposed to in the workplace and to take necessary precautions to protect themselves. If chemicals are not controlled, you can met with cancer, skin damage, eye irritation, maybe cardiovascular problems. So, before going in depth to know how to control these chemical exposure or the effect of chemicals, let us understand first what are the difference between long-term effects and the short-term effects of chemicals. The long-term effects of chemical on human body are those that occur as a result of prolonged or repeated exposure to a chemical. These effects can include chronic health conditions such as cancer, reproductive problems, or neurological disorders. But on the other hand, short-term effects of chemicals on the human body are those that occur as a result of a single or brief exposure to a chemical. These effects can include immediate symptoms such as irritation to the skin, or eyes, difficulty in breathing or nausea. These are the examples of short-term and long-term effects of chemical exposure. Now, the most important question is how to get protected against these chemicals, how to prevent harm, how to avoid chemical accidents in our workplaces. Remember, there are several ways to prevent or reduce exposure to chemicals and protect against potential health effects. I'll highlight 15 different safety control measures that can be taken to prevent chemical exposure. But remember, you are on the platform of safety first life. If you are watching for the first time, kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon for all future notifications. And if you find the video informative, then like, comment, and share it with your friends and fellows. Safety control measure number one, use protective clothing and equipment such as gloves, masks, and respirators to reduce contact with chemicals. Number two, follow proper handling and storage procedures for chemicals to prevent spills or leaks. Number three, use engineering controls to reduce exposure, such as ventilation systems or enclosures. Number four, follow the instructions for use and disposal of chemicals, including any warning labels or precautions as highlighted, recommended, or instructed by the manufacturer. Number six, use substitution when possible to replace hazardous chemicals with safer alternatives. Number seven, follow good personal hygiene practices such as washing hands after handling chemicals. Number eight, keep the work area clean and well organized to reduce the risk of accidents. 
Number nine, use caution when transferring chemicals between containers to prevent spills or leaks. Number 10, store chemicals in a cool, dry, and well-ventilated area away from heat sources and ignition material. Number 12, label all chemical containers with the correct information, including the name of the chemical and any hazards. Number 13, use appropriate protective equipment when handling hazardous materials, such as flammable liquids or corrosive chemicals. Number 14, follow proper procedures for responding to chemical spills or leaks. Number 15, attend training sessions on the safe use of chemicals. Number 16, know the location and use of safety equipment, such as eye wash stations and fire extinguishers. And number 17, stay informed about the potential health effects of chemicals and take necessary precautions to protect yourself. Dear friends and fellows, by following these safety measures, it is possible to reduce the risk of chemical exposure and protect against potential health effects caused by chemicals. You need to understand chemicals are the necessary part of our daily life. We cannot avoid chemicals. We cannot prevent chemicals. We have to use chemicals, but we need to understand how to control these effects of chemicals. The best thing is to adopt safety control measures by adopting the controls, we can minimize the effects or impacts of chemical exposure in a reasonable or acceptable level. And that's all for now. In the upcoming training session, we'll learn about the chemical properties. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Wish to see you soon with a new HSC tutorial. Until then, Take care, good luck and goodbye.